Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons, Inside and Outdoors. Today I would like to talk to you about the secrets to getting a Cattleya orchid to bloom. And this orchid is called Pink Marvel. I got it uh, over 10 years ago from Logies. I don't think they carry it anymore, but it's a lovely orchid. It did pick up a virus somewhere along the way. You can see the effect of the virus in the blooms, but I don't care. It's still gorgeous. And it has this tropical exotic fragrance especially strong in the morning i just i absolutely love it so what's the secret to getting cattleyas to bloom they can bloom like twice a year if you provide really good care well first you got to provide the basic care so that's how i'm going to split this video up we're going to talk about the basic care and then we're going to talk about um more specifically like some secrets that people wouldn't necessarily think of to get them to bloom so first the basic care you need to have an extremely bright light, but not direct sun. So you could have it in the Northern Hemisphere where I live, near a Southern window if you have lace between the window and the plant. You could have it um, in, a, in a Western window. You might need lace as well, uh, or keep it a little distance away from the window. An Eastern window can be great as well. A Northern window probably is not gonna have enough light in the Northern Hemisphere. So light is important. Uh, also, and, and this can take a little practice. The roots need to dry out in between watering. So getting that right, like I said, takes a little bit of practice. If you let it be too dry too long, it will stunt the plant. If you keep it wet, the roots will rot. I actually grow mine in bark. So that's the watering. The temperature, it likes summer-like temperatures. So warm during the day and then say 60 or so at night. And then fertilizer, do not, and this is important, do not fertilize it when it's in bloom or when it's starting to get a bud. And you can see a bud developing. Oh, there's gonna be a train, bad timing. But anyway, excuse the train. You see this? This is, uh, the, the flower comes in the sheath like this. When you see the sheath starting to emerge, do not fertilize it because it could drop its blooms. The time to fertilize it is after it's done blooming. You fertilize it uh, after you've watered. Don't fertilize it when it's dry or you'll damage the roots. And make sure to really dilute the fertilizer. Too strong of a fertilizer will also damage the roots. So those are the basics, you need to do that. Now some things that you might not think about. First of all, if your Cattleya is not blooming, almost guarantee it's not getting enough light. Light is the secret ingredient that nothing else can make up for. And to be honest, it's my number one problem here in Western Oregon, getting enough light. And as you can see, I've got it under a grow light. Uh, during, if I didn't have a grow light like this, it probably would bloom in the spring. It's December right now. And so that facilitated the bloom. Uh, but without that light, it probably would have bloomed in the spring. The flowers would not have emerged until then. So light is extremely important. If you give it too much light, the leaves will burn and you just you ruin the plant. All right, the second thing that you might not think of is temperature. Now this is weird, but plants respirate, okay? So they use food just like animals. And if the temperature is really high, day and night, it will use more food. And then it will not have the extra food it needs to bloom. So there has to be a drop in temperature between day and night. So in my house, it works really well because I have these lights and I've got the heat going during the day and I like to sleep with the cooler at night. So I drop the temperature at night, plus I don't have the lights and so it naturally will cool off. They love that, they need that. And then during the summer, I put it outside in my, in my greenhouse that has a shading over it so it doesn't get too much light. And then naturally in the summer, it would have a higher day temperature and a lower night temperature. So those are the two big things, temperature and light, surprisingly. And again, please don't fertilize it when it's trying to bloom or it will drop its buds. Like my video, subscribe. We'll see you next time.